hello guys how's it going i hope everything is well so in this video we are going to talk about class 9th physical science chapter number 8 floating bodies question answer so in this video we are going to talk about chapter number 8 floating body question answer okay so first of all moving to the question answer let's see the question then we will move to the our answer actually if you see the question then you will understand this uh, this question is related to your test book or not and uh, whatever is it okay now so you will get idea you will not confuse in that because of it i am showing question to you so and don't keep any doubt in your mind so because of that i'm showing so just go through that question and then we will move to our answer also okay now so first of all let's see the question so if you come here you can say this is a keywords keywords you know already and what you have to learn what you have learned means like important points we already see in uh, our workbook lots of important points is given there so we'll see that one also and after that uh, let us improve our learning so let us improve our learning means question answer in this there is a reflection of concept in five questions given application of concept means four questions given higher the thinking question three questions given in that one after that multiple choice question multiple choice question means mcq there is a six question is given after it suggested experiment two question and suggested project work two question okay so till here suggested project work we will discuss whatever project in this one okay now so uh, we will see the answer of uh, question answer keywords whatever present in this chapter we will see all the answer whatever is in it okay now so now let's move to the, our answer all right so as you can see this is our answer sheet and this is our chapter number eight floating body so we already see the question now we have to see the answer and this is the answer sheet only okay and uh, first of all going to the keywords uh, word meaning and uh, let's see the some important points important points means keyword is, uh, key concept is it written here so is it in your test book also so but i am showing you because lots of the children's uh, uh, they just read read okay now they just read and write because of that i am showing so if you want to be right you can write otherwise just leave it okay now but uh, remember it okay now so <laughs> okay so if it is complete then come to the mind mapping so mind mapping is very important it will give you idea what we are going to understand and what we are going to learn in this chapter okay so this is by mind mapping after that here keyword is starting okay now, keywords means meaning and explanation and this is the first uh, uh, that's first is density relative density okay now electrometer and so these are the some keywords is given here okay in this there is lots of the keywords is given so whatever you want to be right in this keyword so you can write otherwise just leave it okay so whatever keywords you want to write so write it okay so i hope it is a clear then come to the here the keyword is completed after that improve your learning improve your learning means like uh, reflection of concept reflection of concept means question answer only and uh, that's your first question why do some objects float on the water and some sink and this is your first question answer okay so if it is complete then come to the here second question and that's your second question If the second question is complete uh, then come to the third question and that's your third question answer and fourth question is also here and that's your fourth question answer okay so I hope uh, this one is clear for you if the video, uh, video clarity is not clear just go to the quality section and it is from there okay and uh, that's your answer of fourth question only okay this is the fifth uh, MPT and the measurement in bottle of the viper. Sixth fill in the bottle with the copper. Seventh weight of the liquid. This is the fourth question answer only. Okay, don't be confused. After that, here fifth question is there. Okay. I hope this fifth question is clear. If it, fifth question is clear, then come to the application of concept. In application of concept, this is your first question okay remember this one this is your first question and answer is it here all right okay so i hope this one is clear then come to the second question and that's your second question and answer is it here And this one is a third question and answer.
and after that this one is fourth one and the answer is it given here okay so after that this one is a fifth one and that's your fifth question and answer is it here okay so after that high order uh, thinking question and that's a first question can you make iron to flat in water how okay so that's your answer uh, answer is given take a small sheet of the teeny iron sheet okay and after that this is your second question Mm, then after that's your third question answer all right so after that he has suggested experiment in suggested experiment that's your first question and answer is it here given okay So let's see that one. All right. I hope it is clear. So if it is clear, then come to the next. Okay. and conclusion is given okay so after the conclusion you can see that is the conduct and experiment of understand the phenomena that the stones emitted in the water loss of the weight write a report on it this is your second question okay now this is your second experiment okay and that's the whatever you want to be so that's given here okay that's the answer of the second question okay second experiment okay remember that one All right. After that, this is a conclusion. If conclusion is clear, come to the project work and okay so here is a project work is given such as a project work you can easily see here and the question is that the oil breaks in vehicles work on the parallel principle collect the uh, information of working of air brakes in ve vehicles and write a report and you can see this is your answer is given here all right and uh, after the here principle of the working of the air brakes uh, here is also is it given and uh, downwards you can see okay so after it uh, here is uh, some figure is given so if you want to be write this figure you can easily write all right so i hope this figure is clear for you i make it small to understand more better okay and then after walking is here written what's the working of that one all right so i hope this one is clear for you so if it is clear then come to the second one and the second say that find the relative densities of the different fruits and vegetables and write a report and the list of the fruit and vegetables is given here banana orange apple brinjal potato and tomato okay and here is the answer that we can see here procedure is here okay all right so this chapter is totally completed here okay now what about in this chapter like uh, project works question answer experiment keywords and important points what about is in it totally completed okay so our chapter number eight is totally completed what about is in it it's over okay now so in the next video we will talk about chapter number nine question answer okay so we will meet the next video jay hind